Well, hello out there in YouTube land. I'm going to do something a little strange for you today. Um, I've been uh, studying a guy named uh, Milton Erickson, uh, who another guy, Richard Bandler, and uh, Grinder wrote about in this really interesting book called uh, Patterns of the Hypnotic Technique of Milton Erickson, Volume 1. And you can, uh, you can see what he looks like. I think he, he looks a little bit like a, a magic mushroom. <laughs> um, Erickson was an interesting guy. He was, uh, I guess, one of the first people doing uh, medical hypnosis in the 1900s. Um, really brought it to the West and uh, been studying his language patterns. And the way that I study best is uh, through embodying feeling it in my body and knowing, you know, why why would I say such a thing? So I've been studying a particular very famous script, which is uh, about tomatoes. And I have some tomatoes here. I got them because, man, they smell so good. Like, when you get the fresh ones, like some of the modern tomatoes that are, I don't know, genetically altered and died or whatever, they don't have any smell, but these ones, ah. <sighs> They really smell good. You know what a, mm, a really good tomato smells like. So, um, so I got these in the spirit of what I'm going to perform for you, and it is a, a hypnosis script that he wrote out in this book to show people how he used language patterns. Um, and this particular uh, script was meant for a client uh, named Joe who was a florist and had a pain problem. He had a horrible, I guess, a cancer, and um, he was in a lot of pain. And so uh, they called over Milton Erickson to help him uh, find a way to, you know, I guess, not be in pain and keep down his food. And he explains here how he did that, apparently very successfully, and he gives a script, which I will now sing for you. I know you are a florist At your gold flowers And I grew up on a farm in Wisconsin And I liked growing flowers I still do So I would like to have you take a seat In that easy chair As I talk to you I'm gonna say a lot of things to you But it won't be about flowers Because you know than I do about flowers. That isn't what you want. Now, as I talk and I can do so comfortably, I wish that you will listen to me comfortably as I talk about a tomato plant. That is an odd thing to talk about. It makes one curious. Why talk about a tomato plant? One puts a tomato seed in the ground One can feel hope that it will grow Into a tomato plant That will bring satisfaction by the fruit it has The seed soaks up water not very much difficulty in doing that because of the rains that bring peace and comfort and the joy of growing to flowers and tomatoes. That little seed, Joe. not know what cilia are, but cilia are things that work to help the tomato seed grow to push up above the ground as a sprouting plant. And you can listen to me, Joe, so I will keep on talking, and you can keep on listening, wondering, just wondering what you can. 
your pencil and your pad, but speaking of the tomato plant, it grows so slowly. You cannot see it grow. You cannot hear it grow, but grow it does. The first little leaf-like things on the stalk, the fine little hairs on the stem. Those hairs are on the leaves too. Like the cilia on the roots, they must make the tomato plant feel very good, very comfortable. If you can think of a plant as feeling it, then you can't see it growing, and you can't feel it growing. But another leaf appears on the little tomato stalk, and then another. Maybe, and this is talking like a child. Maybe the tomato plant does feel comfortable and peaceful as it grows each day. It grows and grows and grows. It's so comfortable, Joe, to watch a plant grow and not see it grow. Just know that all is getting better for that little tomato plant that is adding yet another leaf and still another and a branch and it is growing comfortably in all directions and soon a tomato plant will have a bud formed somewhere on one branch or another. But it makes no difference because all the branches, the whole tomato plant, will soon have those nice little buds. I wonder if the tomato can Joe feel, really feel a, a kind of comfort? You know, Joe, a tomato plant is a wonderful thing, and it's so nice, so pleasing just to be able to think about a plant as if it were a man with such a plan have nice feelings a sense of comfort as the tiny little tomatoes begin to form so tiny yet so full of promise to give you to 
made a plan. That's the way for all tomato plants. Just one day at a time for a tomato plant. That's the way. Just one day at a time. Oh yes, Joe. I grew up on a farm. I think a tomato seed is a wonderful thing. Think, Joe, thing. In that little seed that does sleep so restfully, so comfortably. Beautiful plant yet to be grown that will bear such interesting leaves and branches. The leaves, the branches, Looks so beautiful, that beautiful rich color. You can really feel happy looking at a tomato seed, thinking about the wonderful plant it contains. Asleep, resting, comfortable, Joe. I'm soon gonna. So there you have it. I'm having fun learning NLP and hypnosis with music. And uh, thanks for hanging out with me in my room <laughs> with my tomatoes. And uh, see you next time. I'm Elisa Moore.